before we get into the security of JOTS, it's important to understand how JOTS work in general and the various points and parts that we have to be careful with. So to demonstrate how they work, we have the current user information page in Matilday, and it has various different security problems with it to demonstrate the different things that can go wrong with JOTS. But in general, the way it works is, is we visit the page and it causes the page to go off to an API endpoint to gather this information and display it on the screen about the current user that's logged in. And if you're not logged in, the page will tell you to log in first. So we visited the page and that caused a request to get sent. And if we scroll down, we'll see the post over to the endpoint at jwt.php. And the authentication that got sent over was this jot here. We can confirm this. We'll send this over to the repeater and replay the request. And then if we just say change a character or whatever and send the, the jot over, then what will happen is, is that um, the system won't be able to decode the JOT and it'll say, hey, you know, that's not the right JOT. So we can verify that this auth token really is the, the right one. Now let's take a look at, at the auth token itself and see what a JOT is comprised of. And to do that, one of the handy tools that we can use is jwt.io. So we'll go down to the encoded box, erase their sample and we'll paste in our jot. And so we can see it's basically made up of three parts, the red part being the header, purple is the payload where our data goes, and the blue is the signature that's supposed to prevent anyone from being able to change the payload without being detected by the application. And that's one problem applications can have. Some applications don't verify the signature, and so, they can't tell if the payload was changed by the user. We also notice that the header tells us the algorithm being used to do the signing. In this case, the HS256 is the HMAC SHA-256, and this is another problem. Signatures should be verified with certificates uh, because we don't want to use shared keys, we don't want to use password-based signatures since more than one party would have to know what the password is and the password might be guessed or lost or intercepted or uh, put up on a code repo or left in the source code or any other number of problems. Also, uh, with pair, uh, shared keys like shared passwords, we don't have as much authenticity since we don't necessarily know who signed it, even if it is signed correctly. And so that could be a problem as well. We see that there are going to be different fields inside the payload. There's going to be the issuer. We need to make sure that we trust the issuer, even if the JOT's valid. doesn't mean that we trust who sent it, or issued it, I should say. And we also have the audience, um, the application, in other words. And we need to make sure that the application that the JOT is intended for is correct. There's the time that the JOT was created, the initiated at timestamp, and there's also the corresponding expiry time or EXP. So these two need to be reasonable in the sense that uh, we don't want a timeout that's too long, and we don't want um, a timeout that's already expired in the past. So that's something to be aware of. And then there's can be any other uh, a number of other fields, like this user ID, for example, is an example of a claim, and there can be any number of claims, any number of fields in here. Those all need to be validated when they're used because they can contain anything from uh, data that is accidentally uh, put in there all the way up to malicious data. And so those have to be validated on input. And then of course, the signature itself has to be validated. So there's, there's many different uh, potential security issues that are inherent with the use of bearer tokens or entitlements. And it's not that 
shots themselves are problematic per se. It's just they're a type of an entitlement. They're a type of a bearer token. And so as with any entitlement, where the user is bringing the claim to the application, the application cannot trust that claim. Everything has to be checked and verified and validated. So we need to use appropriate signature algorithms, the payload data, including the issuer and audience and the session length and the session timeout have to be verified. All of the fields or claims have to be checked and verified to make sure that the data is in, is, uh, in the format that's expected and it's the data type length that's expected. In other words, do your validation. The signature has to be checked and the signature algorithm has to be strong and the signature has to have authenticity. So many different issues for applications to consider when using JOTS and where applications have a tendency to get in trouble with JOTS is, is that they don't um, see through these responsibilities to check all these different properties of the entitlement when it shows up at the application. And that's where someone might try to take advantage of a security vulnerability.